Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing today? This is Yusuf Chowdhury once again, tuning in from San Antonio, Texas. What time is it right now? Oh, 5.57. Got a few minutes left. few minutes left to start this. Yeah, you all saw in the beginning that, was a, that wasn't a frozen screen. That was some All right, just give me a, as usual, I repeat this all the time. Give me a second, let me share this in my group. <clears throat> all right. All right, folks, let me know what kind of question you all have today. How was your Monday going for y'all? Y'all, for you all. How is life treating you? Okay, let me see some of the questions that I got. Let's see. Okay, this is one of the questions. <clears throat> this is for social media platform. Um, let's see, which is the best platform to focus on or should I use it all? Okay, so that's one of the questions I got about in terms of like, you know, which social media channels that you can use for your business. So I would say first, I mean, typically, uh, before even deciding on which channel you want to go with the first thing you have to do is make sure that your audience exists on those channels so if you go to so-called TikTok or Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn see if your audience exists there or you can also look at your competitors right look at your competitors and see if they're also you know marketing their material marketing their content or not that's a that's the first thing you have to look for before you decide on which uh, option you want to jump in the second thing, you can also look at the data. You can uh, check out uh, socialbaker, socialbaker.com. They do have a lot of data in terms of like a, what's you know popular based on the demographic, based on the users, based on the type of generation that are using the platform, right? Because I think the issue is when somebody tells you like, hey, you need to be in the social channels. My question is like, why you have to be in the social channels? Like... Like, like what, what's the reason behind it? <clears throat> and the answer that I get from these so-called prospects is like, well, because somebody told me. I'm like, you don't want to do something because somebody told you. It has to be coming some, from somebody that know what they're talking about or what they do, right? So, like, like for example, you know, several years ago when the Snapchat was so popular and every, everyone was just jumping in, I'm like, okay, like, why are you doing that? I mean, do, are you going to come with something, with some sort of material that uh, your actual customer are going to look for? So you have to make sure that these platform uh, already has audience or audience that exist for your business, right? If your audience don't exist on these platforms, then what's the point of uh, putting your material out there? Now, some might argue that, you know, sometimes it's good to kind of diversify, have your all content everywhere on the Internet. To, to, to some degree, I kind of agree in, in a sense that it depends, right? So to, to some degree, that can actually help because you're putting the materials out there uh, <clears throat> On the internet and for sure somebody can definitely uh, find it but it's better for you to strategize and be laser focused and whatever content you put on any platform it has to talk to that audience makes sense so for example when everyone's just you know saying that you know jump into the TikTok, and I'm like okay for one, one second why should I jump into TikTok when the when the data shows that the age group are from let's say from I don't know from the teenager all the way to like you know 24, okay, that's good. We can, look, we can look at the demographic. Then what kind of content out there first? If I do digital marketing, if I don't find any content similar to what I do, then it might not be that, that good. Does that make sense? So luckily, I went to TikTok. I looked at it. I talked SEO. I talked digital. And I've seen some content that you know people, people are putting it out there. And they're getting the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the eyeballs. So the most important thing is that before you basically jump into any social channels, you have to understand who is actually... Uh, if my target audience exists there or not, okay, that should be your first 
thing to figure out. Then after that, <clears throat> after you do the research and find out that, you know what, looks like my audience do exist on this platform. And I can also see my competitor is doing the same thing or doing something similar. So that's how you can tap into it, right? The third point is every social media platform, even though the concept might be, might be similar in terms of how you market yourself, but every platform has a different functionality, right? Like the YouTube, it's all about videos. Uh, Facebook can get videos, regular posts, external links, you know, carousels and whatnot. Periscope, mainly for live streaming. Uh, Twitter, you have this right now, 200 and something, you know, text with an image, also with the video, right? Uh, Pinterest, mostly pinboard with images that can be attached to a video or an image. A LinkedIn, mostly professional. You can have a full blog post within LinkedIn account or the LinkedIn channel. Then you can also post, upload videos, do live streaming right now with LinkedIn images and whatnot. So you also have to understand, okay, what kind of uh, uh, the type of the, the the content format that I'm going to utilize on these channels, which one I can do best, which one I can do it efficiently at the beginning, right? <clears throat> because if you go, for example, with YouTube, I mean, that means I'm going to have to possibly post a minimum one video uh, per week, okay? If it's a Facebook, I might have to maybe post every day, Monday to Friday, same thing with the Twitter and Instagram and um, uh, Pinterest, but that doesn't mean you don't want to post video every day. You can if you want to, if you have the time, of course, but that's what you have to look for. It's the, the, the type of format, right? Which format I'm going to go with, right? So after you make that decision, you know, if my audience do exist, uh, if my competitor already utilizing it, then what, which type of functionality of the platform I can actually get into it first then after that, do everything later. Because what's going to happen, if you do everything by yourself, you're going to end up basically too busy just man managing the social and engaging whatnot. If you're a one person, it might be a little bit challenging, which means you have to put too much effort on that. But if you have your own team, you know, staff and whatnot, that might be a little bit easy. Okay. All right. So that, that, does that make sense? So, so once you make that... Point number three. Now, point number four, you do have to read the uh, privacy policy, the terms of service. You have to read those because most of them don't even do that. Correct? Then you have to make the decision of, okay, now how can I, for example, utilize only Facebook because there is something also called organic and also paid, right? So the thing is this. The thing is this. With the uh, <clears throat> organic uh, content that you're going to post it on social media, you are not going to get the result as soon as possible. It's going to take some time because uh, they, they call it organic for a reason. You know what I mean? It's going to take some time. What you also have to invest, look at some of the social channels uh, that has some type of uh, feature for running ads. So you have Facebook ads. You have uh, ads within Twitter. You have also ads within YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, and right now TikTok, even Snapchat also offering ads and why is that because if you are going to run ads you will have more information about your audience right the demographics the locations the zip code and whatnot so you can run the ad and they can see those information versus if you keep doing everything organically not saying not saying don't don't do things organically of course you should but the result that you're going after is not going to be fa fast or it's not going to Excuse me. You're not going to see the result within several months if you are a beginner, right? So you have to come with a strategy like, you know what? I studied the audience. I studied my competitor. Now I'm going to come with some sort of amazing uh, material that can benefit, that can highly benefit my target audience, right? It can be educational. It can be tips. It can be case studies. It can be testimony or whatever, even stories, right? So you can share those. But when you do that, you have to systemize it. You have to put it on a systematic way so you can see how your efforts are, you know, you know, taking place, right? So you keep the organic going. But you also, I highly recommend that you also have to invest in running ads because the ads can help you. For example, let's just take Facebook as an example. If you want to get targeted followers, join your page you can run an ad to get more um, interested people to like your page, right? If you have a video that you want more, uh, what you call it, views on the videos, then you can definitely run ads for that. 
if you have a site that you want to get leads, you want to take the visitor from Facebook back to your website as a lead, you can definitely run that. And when you do it, you have the option to select specific location, zip code, age, and income, and whatnot. Okay? <clears throat> so based on these, excuse me, based on these, then you can decide which platform you're going to put your information for. And just make sure, understand one thing. Your website is going to be your real estate. Your website is where everyone going to end up, you know, uh, visiting. So the social channels, you're using it just to build a brand and bring those traction back to your website. And the reason I'm saying this is because none of us own the social media channels. So if Facebook or, or YouTube or Twitter decided to, you know, shut down your account for whatever reasons, they can do that. So that's why you have to use the social channels to bring them back, eventually to bring them back to your website. And from your website, you are going to basically collect their name and email addresses. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So any more question about uh, anything within digital marketing? Let me know if y'all have any more question. I got to go through some of these questions right here that I got. Let's see. Okay, so a uh, question about boosting. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to uh, Facebook boost, right, or the boost the post, that's like the, I, I believe last time I read uh, a year ago uh, in, in some sort of case study that almost 75% of businesses or, or uh, social media managers and the businesses utilize uh, Facebook uh, boost a post. Right, I call it the weakest, <laughs> the weakest way of running an ad because with the boost the post, you you don't get a lot of options. Makes sense. You don't get a lot of options in in order for you to target things like in a very laser focused. So what what I would suggest is that go to the Facebook ad manager, right? Go to the Facebook ad manager. From there, go to the audience insight, uh, do some research, figure out what kind of uh, numbers of your customer exist. Uh, in your location let's say if you do yoga find out in san antonio how many people are interested for example in yoga classes right so get the demographic get the numbers then when you run the ad there uh, facebook offers 15 categories so it depends on what you want to do with the ad if you want people to sign up for your classes then you're going to have to select an ad that take you from the post itself to your website make sense if you want to get more followers to your Facebook business page, then you are going to run an ad called awareness or like page ad. So when you go to the Facebook ad manager, you will give more option. You will control the ad spend. You can control the potential reach of the uh, visitors that you tend to target. You can add more interest in the, in the audience, uh, what do you call it? The creation of the audience that you're going to target. So there's more option if you, uh, run the the Facebook uh, ad through the Facebook ad manager. Now, you can also create multiple audiences. And when you go back to your business page, and if you want to run a quick uh, boost the post for one of your posts, you can also select those audience, whether you want to have everybody on the page see it or specific audience that you want to target, okay? So that was uh, one of the question about which one do you like. So like, like I said, boost is okay if you, if you do this strategically. I mean, some folks, they have a regular post with an image and they boot and they, boo, they <laughs> boost, boost it. But, uh, but there's no call to action. Like, what is it for? Like, I mean, you, you post an image and you're boosting it. Like, why? You know what I mean? Tawseef, wa alaikum salam. Alhamdulillah, I'm good, Akhi. How are you, bro? Got any question today? So uh, let's see. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. So um, when you boost a post, you have to ask this question, why I'm boosting this? Uh, what I'm going to gain from this? Am I collecting, um, what do you call it, lead from this? Am I, basically, you have to have a goal and what's the purpose behind it. So let's take an example of, let's say you have a blog, an amazing blog that you created and you, and you shared it. Uh, on your Facebook business page, it's an interesting article. You put it on your Facebook page, and uh, and you want more people to read it. So now you can run a boost for this blog post, right? And you can tell the audience, you know, here's my new article. Click the link or click the image to read the 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 content. So you can run a boost for that because you want more eyeballs 
to your uh, what you call it to your uh, 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 the article itself one second here I got another message Mm -mm -mm. let's see sorry about that okay so if you have a, a block content that you need more eyeballs look eyeballs eyeballs right to your to your to your blog then you can run a boost for that blog because you need more viewers for the blog post Make sense? If you have, uh, let's say, I don't know, a coupon or a promotion, you want all the followers from that page to look at it, that's another option to do. Okay? Okay. All right. Any any questions from the audience? Any more questions? Y'all have any questions? I'm sure y'all have any questions. I, I think you do. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, Stephanie, what's going on? Thank you for liking the video. You got any questions for me today? You all have any questions? Ask me about digital marketing. Anything within WordPress, online marketing, outsourcing, business. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Looking for what's up, Jay? Thank you for liking the video, my man. Appreciate it, brother. How you doing? You all have any questions? Hey, Rocky, what's going on, man? You all just staring at my face, at my glowing face right here. That's what you're doing on Monday. I don't know. Somebody says like, "Wow." I don't know why, 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 why? Because of the, the background. Yeah, I know it's a very interesting background. Okay, now, so here's another thing, another dilemma where most uh, businesses don't get it when it comes to the social media. They think social media is like a billboard. So they keep posting content that is so over-promotional. It's like throwing up at people all the time, right? So when it comes to the, the, the concept of how to market on the social, are you using softbox light for this video? Uh, not really. There's this light from this company called uh, GVM, and there's some different lights here. Yeah, I'll probably have to show you one day. It's not a, it's not a soft, uh, soft light. Jay, doing great. Good to see you. Still doing your things? Absolutely, brother. I mean, you know me, man. I can never stop. Maybe when I leave this world, <laughs> then I'll stop. All right? But since I'm alive, I'm going to continue doing this. So let's talk a little bit about the confusion where when it comes to social, the concept of social marketing. Uh, <clears throat> and this is something a lot of small business actually make this common mistake where they uh, initially set up the social accounts without proper, uh, what you call it, they don't sync the brand. What I mean by that, they don't sync the brand color, the brand messages from their website to the social channel itself. In order for your audience to basically identify you, to know you, when they search you on, on the social, they can see the same logo, same message, same domain, same color. That's where the consistency is, right? But in terms of content, how consistent are you in terms of providing it, how many times, and what kind of messages? So what makes some of these uh, content amazing or people, a lot of people watch it because they're interested in it. So if there's something that your audience are interested, whether they need to learn or something that you have to tell them that they don't know, you can basically provide that. So one of my suggestions is, like, uh, especially if you can post uh, content that are question-based, right? Question-based content, like a question with uh, with a short answer or tips and whatnot. You can all you can always uh, check out. There's so many tools out there that can help you to analyze what's popular out there. What kind of content is, you know, uh, get a lot of engagement. But one of my favorite one that I use it for content marketing and also for the search engine is Answer the Public. If you go to answerthepublic.com, let's say again, take the example of real estate or yoga instructor or a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You can type those words and see what, kinds, what kind of popular questions that people ask. I mean, you can actually go to Google directly and tap the word yoga. And then you can see the um, people also ask 
box. You can also use those. So imagine using those questions and sharing those content on your social channels because that's how people are going to benefit because you have to put something, right? You have to put something, not just something, but whatever material content you're putting out there has to be super highly beneficial to your audience, okay? So don't over-promote too much, right? Uh, you, it is okay for you to put promotional content, but try to um, use the analytics to help you and see which one works. So if you put like maybe 70% educational content and 30% uh, promotional, that's fine. Then after that, uh, either every week or after one month, hey, Kat, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. So after that, look at the analytics and see what the analytics shows. If the analytics shows, if the analytics shows that there, there's more visibility on the promotional product or promotional messages, then you can increase that. And instead of you know having, let's say, three education, four educational content, one promotional, based on the analytics, if you notice that there is more engagement and sharing on the promotional content, then you can do two promotional and three educational. Makes sense? So you let the analytics decide to help you how you're going to put the material out there. Okay. All right, uh, let's see any questions here. Uh, Y'all have any questions? Please do ask, folks. Why are you all scared? Ask, ask, ask. Any more questions on digital marketing? Any more questions? Okay, one right here. Why should I, okay, why should I use personal over business page? Well, actually, I, it's not about why why you should use personal over a business page. Uh, if your personal gets you a lot of engagement, a lot of conversation, even indirectly gets you lead, then that's fine. You can stick to it. I know some other people say, no, use the business. And in fact, I, I even say <laughs> use the business. Uh, is there a way to send notification on mobile phone using WordPress? What kind of not notification, Tawsif? What kind of notification? Is it like for an update? Please elaborate your question. So the thing is, uh, what's what's the, the benefit? In fact, right now, Facebook is pushing businesses to basically create content that create engagement. So they don't want you to use like share, click, buy now. They don't want you to use those type of sentences and words on a regular organic post. They want you to put something where people can actually ask questions or engage with you. Right. The benefit of having the business page is that it's unlimited. That means anybody, not necessarily anybody, people, people that target audience that like the page, it can be unlimited. There's an analytics on the background. Uh, you can also run ads. So basically, you will get more information of having your business page active because of the, the analytics. You won't have them the personal. Of course, I use my personal because over the years, my personal became where most of the engagement happens, but I also share it on my business and other places. So you basically have to go with where your audiences are. But having a business page is important anyway. Uh, like a new blog post, any type of update you did on your website? Let me think about this. So if you, if you posted a blog on your website, you, you want to get notified? I'm confused. Or are you talking about you putting the content on your website and the, and the readers, the followers... Uh, receive the notification. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, unfortunately, I don't know if there's any way that you get a notification on your mobile device, anything like that, because it's not attached to the WordPress.com, right? Uh, if you have, that's why we have the lead capture to capture the email. So when you post it, you can basically uh, send an alert for the subscribers that you get an email. Makes sense? But there's nothing on the mobile device like an app. Like, you know, on Facebook, when somebody posts, you get a notification because you have the, the Facebook mobile app. What I would suggest doing, I want you to check uh, if this then that dot com. Let me show you. This is a super free. It's still free. It's still free. I think it's still free. Okay, so I want you to check uh, if this then that. <laughs> if this then that. Let me show you. If this then that. This thing. This crazy awesome service 
has so many rules that you can configure up to like more than like 200 applications. So for example, when I was doing the uh, Periscope uh, streaming uh, back then in 2015, I set it up where if I do Periscope Live, it will automatically send a message to my Facebook business page, my Facebook personal, and I think LinkedIn. And yeah, so I, I set it up on the back and that's what they call it. If this, then that, that means if I go live on Periscope, then you are going to post it on Facebook, for example. So check out this tool, okay? Uh, it's super amazing. You can do you, you can do so much stuff with it. So if there is a way that if you blog, right? But you see, it's going to come to you, not to your readers. Make sense? So I also noticed that uh, if you visit some website, they have this plugin. I have to find out. There's this plugin on the top. A small box pops up and it says if you want to receive notification for any update. That no not that notification only comes on the browser. So when I'm you know viewing stuff online and you see this like the YouTube uh, notification comes on the site. So there is an option for that. I'm not, I'm, 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 I have a feeling it's a plugin, but I don't know what plugin is that, right? So I have to look it up for you, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, like you visit a specific website and you're reading the material and there's a small box pops on the head, would you like to receive a notification? You click yes, and the notification shows up on the browser itself. So anytime that individual put a new material, a box will pop up on the browser, but I'm not sure on the mobile device, to be honest. But don't worry, I will definitely look into it, okay? So when you get a chance, uh, check out if this, then that, ifttt.com. Super amazing service. I've been using it for almost a decade. It's so awesome. It does so many cool stuff. What you can do, you can go to YouTube and find out, you know, how to set up certain things. For example, I attended a several years ago to one of the WordCamp event in Austin. So what I did, uh, basically, I set up a, uh, a configuration on if this then that every time I tweet with the specific hashtag of that event it will automatically go to my Twitter list so I don't have to do it manually and I also set it up where anybody that came to that event uh, and I tag them or anybody using the same hashtag I'm going to put them to my Twitter list for that event hashtag so I can follow up with them. Isn't that crazy? So I can follow up with all these folks that I even didn't meet yet, but they were at the event, so I can engage with them, tell them, hey, how was the event, right? So I programmed it that way using if this, then that, ifttt.com, okay? So check it out. I mean, it has it comes with tons of tons of cool stuff for website, for application. Now they have a feature that works with Google uh, Home and also Alexa, okay? So check it out. It's, it's an awesome, awesome tool. If this, then that. That's what they call it for a reason. You know, if this, then that. Okay. All right, folks. It is 6.25 p.m. Central Time right here in San Antonio, Texas. So if you all have any more questions, please do ask. I'm going through some of these messages that I got. See what kind of what other question I have. Feel free to ask. Please ask. 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 Let's see, let's see, what is this? What is this? Um, oh man, some of your question is like, I don't know. I got to probably use uh, Grammarly or something. <clears throat> Rick, my man, what's going on, bro? Why are you so cool, Yusuf? I don't know, man. I asked the same question. I, I have, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. I don't know why. <laughs> nah, man, you're you're the most cool. I'm just a I'm just a regular dude from the street, okay? Just a regular dude from the street. But uh, Rick, how's everything going with you, man? Any any new projects you're working on? Okay. Any question, everybody? Any more questions? Okay, which content is best? The video, podcast, or blogging? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, I would say, in terms of, I mean, there, there are type of formats. You know, when it comes to content, there are formats. And which one do you feel more comfortable? Or, or which one do you uh, want to use effortless, effort, effortlessly? Effortlessly? effortlessly <laughs> okay so well it's not the idea of you looking for something easy you got to look for something that is uh 
uh, something that will produce. I know some businesses will look for something easier to use, but easy doesn't mean you will get the best result, right? Uh, looking at some businesses, entrepreneurship stuff. See this? What is this? Yeah, advertisement. I love this website. The uh, Brian, the founder. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? The Facebook is offering grant. It's been on their pages. I actually shared this before. I shared this uh, this page before. Uh, even Google, uh, Google is also giving out, uh, well, not necessarily money, but they're giving out grants in Google Ads. So you can also apply for that. Uh, Facebook now accepts application for small business grants program. Yeah, I I've shared this before. They have their own page. You can apply it and see if you get uh, some uh, some sort of uh, grants to take your business to the next level. But you have to you have to uh, read everything, right? Because there's always a stipulation. So you gotta read everything exactly. You know how it's used. What is it used for? And uh, yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. Yeah, I shared this before. I think a couple of weeks ago. And there's another one from Google as well. But for Google, it's mainly Google Ads. So they will give you grants. So you can run ads for your sites and whatnot. So thank you for sharing this. Let me show everybody. Everybody, let me show you this thing that Rick shared about the Facebook grants. This uh, crazy Facebook, the one that uh, works for the powers be. <laughs> yeah, the crazy guy. Yeah, uh, the 22nd, I think they're opening to other sites, other cities. And probably not for self-employed. Yeah, that's why you have to read the whole detail, you know. I mean, I understand with this situation, uh, the grants in some way, it helps. But I would think uh, when I surround myself with the serious entrepreneurs, especially my mentors, uh, most of them actually not going after the grants, to be honest. I mean, they basically t was telling me that, you know, we're going to go after helping more businesses and show them how to get customers and uh, do it that way, right? But of course, having an extra... A grant can, you know, definitely help the business and it's, it's a little bit relief. But make sure whether you talk to your lawyers or just go through the whole document, make sure you know what, what comes with it, you know. So, but this is a good resource. Uh, as you all can see, this is the page right here. Uh, Facebook.com business, so small business grants program. You all can see this? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just making sure. Here we go. Uh, how the program can help you, keep your workforce uh, going strong, help with your rent costs. If you have like an office to rent, connect with more customers and uh, cover operational costs. So that means you have to show them uh, like for the cost of your office and uh, operation, you have to basically uh, prove it to them that you're going to spend your money on that. Just like the one that the government are paying, the 10 grand, right? It's the same thing. Those money have to go to the expenses and the staff and because supposed to help the staff, right? So who's eligible? Uh, be a for-profit company, how to be between two to 50 employees, uh, have been in, don't you have uh, two more people, Rick? <laughs> All right. Have been in business for over a year. You've been in business for a year. Have experienced challenge, uh, have experienced challenges from COVID. So here's, the, here's where the honesty comes in. If people really affected by the COVID, then please go apply. But there are some who are not affected by it. Uh, don't take it. Let somebody who needs it, you know, uh, get this opportunity. Be in be in or near a location where Facebook operates. So when you click on see available location, uh, let's see, all these countries, where is United States? Then uh, let's see, area, choose the area. What is, what is this? Uh, what is taxes? Taxes. What is tax? Oh, it's not all areas. My location is not listed. Where is Texas? Come on. Uh, Fort Worth. Husband. There's no San Antonio. There's uh, Fort Worth, Dallas, Chicago. Chicago! Yeah, so we are not listed. We're sorry, but we're not currently offering grants in your area. Hmm. Let me see if I have an office in Dallas. <laughs> oh, let's see. Then you're going to put a uh, business email address and sign up. That's it. Man, that sounds easy. Yeah, but I don't have an office in Dallas. My location is all in San Antonio. Austin is close, man. Should I go with Austin? I have a business partner there. Maybe I can. No, no, that's that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. You got to be honest about this stuff. You know what I mean? See what I'm, you see what I'm talking about? Man. So there you go. Check it out, folks. It says here. 
and probably not for a self-employed. Well, I think the self-employed, it, it can work, Rick. I mean, if you have, you know, two or three, or at least it says there are two more employee or a contractor, we'll see. We've got to read the fine. Oh, there you go. Terms and conditions. So I guess we have to read the terms and condition. We're about to partner with the Eureka to administer our application process. If we, if you meet the eligibility requirements above, you can apply when applications become available in your area. Application availability, New York City and Seattle, San Francisco Bay Area, all other eligible USA. So that means after tomorrow, Wednesday, right? So it's going to be available everywhere. For details about the Small Business Grant Program, you can view the program. Terms of condition. Let me see what's the terms and condition because most people don't read. What is the terms and condition in the grant privacy policy? Let us see. Okay, Facebook Small Grants Program. Terms, let's say, last updated April 18. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, please read. Okay, I'm also skimming through it. That means, that, oh, it's so long. I gotta definitely go through this. You can run it between you and the program. By clicking, I accept. Okay. If you don't agree, okay. Company services. Generally, the service allows eligible small business applicants to apply to the grants program during the. Da, 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 da. What kind of reading is that? Da, 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 da. Is it, it's not a reading. What, what I'm doing? What the hell? Okay. We're not a bank or a lender. Eligibility. Let's see. Who? Okay. Who need assistance due to the advanced economic efforts of COVID-19 to be eligible for the grant program? Applicant must be successful. Pass the background check. And be representative of a business that is has between two and fifty employees is located in any of the zip codes found here. Has been in business for a year. We, talk, we read that. Can promptly provide all documentation. There you go. Can promptly provide all documentation requested by company to show proof of business status. Yeah. Has been negatively affected by COVID nineteen. Uh, it's not owned by in a whole or any part by and does not employ any individual who are an employee of the program entities or a person engaged in the administration. Okay, selecting or judging process with the grant or family members. Okay, 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 okay. So basically you have to show all the proof like the LC, the staff, the employees and all those documents. Uh, so you're going to have all those documents ready. And there's no guarantee for applicants. Okay. Application data and program provide true accurate. Okay, sharing information agreement. Okay, I'm getting bored. Okay, so mainly, um, what is this IRS? To the fullest extent uh, allowable under applicable law, all taxes including. Okay, see you gotta read all these guys. All this. Make sure you go through all of this. All of this, okay. All of this, uh -uh. all right. Okay, so the next one is Grant uh, Eureka Grant Program uh, Privacy Policy. Uh, so there's more information right here, contact data and whatnot. So yeah, if you have all those documents about your work and where the money is going and all the stuff, licensing, then definitely can go ahead and uh, give it a shot. They didn't say how much though. I didn't see how much they. Uh, they're giving it so make sure you go to uh, look up for small business grants program within Facebook and uh, if you go to the Facebook business facebook.com slash business 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 you'll find it there okay okay all right do we have any more questions come on folks it is uh, 636 p.m. central time Y'all have any more questions? Let me close this window. All right, what else we have? Okay, how do you build your brand online? How do you build your brand online? How do you, okay, that's one of the, that's an old question. Selena, thank you for sharing the live streaming. I highly appreciate it. And by the way, folks, if you all enjoyed watching this live streaming, uh, why don't you do me a favor and don't be stingy. 
right? You know, go ahead and tag some of your cool colleagues and friends. Share this or invite. I would highly appreciate it. You know what I mean? So the question is how to build a brand online. So when it comes to the branding or online branding, uh, this is what I call the uh, having an online presence. So there, there are many ways to do that. Uh, first, really start with your, not necessarily the site, but what kind of value you put out there, right? If you want, if you do want to build a brand, I mean, you can do branding through blogging. If you have a specific uh, blog that you talk about a specific subject, right? Thank you so much, Tosi, for sharing. If there's a specific subject that you always talk about within that blogging material, then you are you are going to brand yourself as an expert in that area based on providing those content. Makes sense? And that's how you're going to build a brand because you're building it in a sense that you're providing information to your target audience, whether it's through YouTube videos, through podcasts, or through the blogging, even through the social. That's how you're going to build it. So what you're good at and what are you solving, right? What kind of problems you're solving, what kind of information you're sharing that your audience, um, basically your audience are looking for, right? So that's how you, in, in, in a simple idea, in a simple idea, that's how branding basically it, it's built. And it goes from there, right? So when you look at this individual or this channel or this podcast, you will automatically know, okay, what kind of content you're getting from that individual based on, or that company based on the content that they're putting it out there. And you become the expert in that field because the, the material that you're putting, right? Because if you also go back and if you're trying to analyze the 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 concept of so-called branding, right? I mean, you have to ask this question, like, what the heck is a brand, right? A lot of us are going to think, oh, branding means logo or a color, right? That's what most people think. But if you really analyze it, you can understand and, and you will notice some of these so-called online presence, social media presence, and influences and whatnot. You will see that this brand became like some type of a process. Like it's like a process uh, that that where when you put all those content materials where you attract your actual, let's say, target audience, then they see your content and they see your action. They see your consistency on how you're delivering it, right? And how many times you're delivering it. It's like a, your commitment basically, right? And they can understand and see who you are. That's why I highly recommend... Uh, live streaming because in the live streaming they can see and not necessarily feel you physically but they can see how you speak how you talk and when they meet you personally it's like you're the same person so there's some sort of um, good way of connecting you know what I mean uh, with that you always have to think about what kind of solution I'm providing like here I'm I'm doing this on a daily basis and the solution I'm providing I'm answering question for businesses that going through some challenges when it comes to let's say digital marketing for example right by being consistent, by speaking on a specific niche uh, and providing high value, this will create not just that um, the the having the so-called uh, uh, the social media ambassadors or online you know presence ambassador, but now you're creating something called uh, proper communication and you develop this trust, right? You end up developing this trust to your audience. So that's how. Hey, Angel, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in, bro. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. So you develop this trust based on the consistency on giving value over and over. So you become the brand for that specific area, right? Or you become the brand and expert in specific, let's say, uh, open box videos or tech stuff or real estate or VA loans and whatnot. Makes sense because you always talk about it. So you become that person for the content that you put out there. Makes sense? I hope that makes sense. Angel, what's going on? How are you? Thank you for tuning in. You got any question? I saw your email. I, in fact, this wasn't the email. Uh, you sent me a message about this package. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? This package. I kind of looked at it quickly. I just gave it a glance, but I wasn't sure uh, what was your question. Hey, brother, could you tell me what you think about this pack? Uh, WP starter pack. Yeah, I was like, whoa, it comes with, uh, 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 what is it? Um, it comes with, um, I was surprised that it comes with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Avada, right? It comes with Avada themes. It comes with, I, I never used it, to be honest. It comes with Avada theme, Divi. This is kind of 
crazy. So it comes with Divi and Avara. Uh, uh, what is it? There's so many other themes that comes with it. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I never, I've never seen this uh, uh, for real. I'm like, uh, starter pack. Yeah, I mean, this is great because you can get the Avara by itself for like uh, the original price. Of course, you will get it for like, you know, 60 bucks or even more. Uh, so have you, have you purchased it? Have you purchased this? Because, uh, oh, you did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Just like AppSumo, right? How is it? I mean, is it really you're able to download these? Because, you know, remember, Avada and all these themes, they have a license. So when you buy it, they have a licensing that uh, you purchase on a yearly basis. So when you get the support, are you still able to contact the Avada support or the, um, the gym support? Are you able to... Uh, contact the you design because what some company do they buy these and they try to sell it to you Makes sense. So let me show the audience what angel was showing me uh, about this pack of um, You did okay one second. Let me show everybody If you have an affiliate link you might want to share it on the Facebook uh, Comment put your affiliate link <laughs> so somebody can click on it and buy so this is what uh, angel shared uh, start a starter pack uh, all the three uh, uh, premium uh, WordPress themes. So I know this company here, for example, Avada is a good company. So it, it comes with all the theme within Avada, within Divi. So it's like a, uh, a, a premium theme glower, uh, humongous, right? Huge uh, pack of themes, which is kind of, uh, wow, this is like, I, I find it hard to believe. This is like, wow, really? All these in, in for like 30 bucks? Is it yearly though? Is this thing yearly because I might have to send it to my team even Elementor it comes with Elementor really man top 300 absolutely must have plug in and okay yeah I gotta uh yeah if you bought it and uh no I didn't what what, what? you didn't <laughs> you didn't have the what affiliate what I, are you serious it comes with the thrive theme dude I cannot believe this is this a scam or what I know AppSumo does something similar right AppSumo sells a lot of big a high-end product for a for an affordable price, so it's possible they're doing something similar, you know. But this is good, man. I will definitely share it with my team, so they can. Um, I'll go out and purchase it. If you purchase it and you you test it, dude, are you serious? They come with the Yoast. The, the premium plugin is also part of it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this, and let my team mess with it. Let them play with it. Because all these plugins in team, yeah, I think it's a yearly and for additional, it's a lifetime. So what, what is it? How much? I, mean, I don't care. Hey, that's like I'm saving a lot of money on this. You're looking at like thousands of dollars. All these are popular plugins, popular themes. These are like, I mean, like the, uh, I don't see a studio press here, but like, like some of these uh, theme cost like $200 a year, just a theme alone. So this is very good, man. Yeah, at first I was like, what the? Facebook Messenger for WordPress. Okay, okay. So this is very, very good. And you know what? I also uh, I don't even, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm also paying uh, Theme Forest a monthly membership because with the monthly membership I get unlimited download. Guess what? I also have. Oh my! Oh my God! Dude, you need to have your affiliate link. There's no affiliate link because I know a couple of friends of mine or clients from overseas they cannot afford some of these uh, themes and plugins. So, um, that's it, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to basically, for sure, I'm going to share this with a couple of groups and let people know, like, look, look, this is uh, crazy. Best deal ever. Yeah, man, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Okay. I don't know how they did it. That is awesome. I'll definitely, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely buy it, and I'll have my team play with it. You know, and also share it with the, because folks from uh, overseas, sometimes it's very difficult for them to, what do you call it, buy some of these awesome themes. But let me show this guy real quick, uh, because because there's a WordPress community. Oh, let's see here. Yo, yo. Yo, did anybody? One second. I'm going to share this. Start back. Okay, yeah, I'll buy it too. 
Thanks, Angel. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, this is insane. I mean, because I love this concept because, you know, AppSumo does something similar, right? Because AppSumo... You know AppSumo, right? AppSumo does something similar. The guy... Uh, what's his name? The founder of uh, AppSumo. He also does amazing stuff. I mean, all these expensive, well-known uh, applications, softwares out there, you get a very, very awesome deals within AppSumo. So this WP Startup... Starter pack, I like it. I like that they also come with plugins. So we can see it. The reason I ask you for the licensing, because when we use some of these plugins for our clients, we've got to make sure they are licensed. So in case, you know, there's an update, so we can contact the support for any issues. You know what I mean? Yeah, AppSumo is awesome, man. AppSumo, every business must have AppSumo, you know, under their belt, right? AppSumo is one of my favorite. I love the founder. He's amazing. And of course, right now, I'm going to definitely... Uh, uh, save this one here gotta save this uh thanks man i mean i really appreciate it bro so now here's another thing for those people that want to make extra cash uh while you are locked in your place <laughs> right if you want to learn some skills if you want to learn how to build a site on wordpress now is your chance to basically use some of these awesome premium themes so you can build a professional looking site for any new clients that you're going to get right i deal with absumo because of your recommendation awesome yeah they're very good i mean everything i bought from absumo bro is really good so far you know it's really good okay so man i really appreciate it man for sharing this i, I really appreciate it this is very very good um there's also 20 percent discount for saying uh, stay home i'm going to definitely share this with my team after i purchase it so they can go there and mess with it and play with it as I also mentioned, I'm also paying monthly for a theme for it. So in our team, in my team, I have some that work on Studio Press. That they, they actually love Studio Press because it's mostly coding and developers like to code, right? Then I have some of my team use Avada, Xtheme, DV, Elementor, and any other stuff that some of the customer pick from Theme Forest. Right now I'm paying monthly for uh Theme Forest because of the a lot of projects that I use, so that way we can have additional access, not just to the WordPress uh, themes, because with Theme Forest you can have access to the videos and plugins and some other cool stuff that you can use it for uh, media and uh, branding and marketing and graphing and whatnot, right? So this is awesome, man. I highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope everybody uh, took uh, that link, wrote it down, okay? Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much, Angel. Um, all right. Any more questions, everybody? Uh, it's uh, 6.50 p.m. Central Time. Let me know if there's any more question. For sure, I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 p.m. So keep those questions coming send me those questions to my dm if you are stuck with something whether it's your website or with the social or you don't know where to start or how to read analytics or or how to run ads please do let me know do let me know okay i'm gonna wait for like a minute or two to see if there's any more questions I'm going to go buy this thing right now. Since Angel already tested it, he usified it and approved it, and I trust him, I'll go get it. You market for Ozarka. <laughs> nah, I, I should tag them, right? <laughs> hey, Christian, what's going on? It's okay, brother. How you doing? Got any question for me? Christian, you got any question for me? Let me know. I got like 10 minutes left. Let me go first purchase this thing. Check out. Do, 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 do. Tag them, right? Hey, Ozaka, you gonna give me something? Yeah, well, if actually, if my. Because this live stream is on Periscope, right? So if you go to Periscope and you retweet it and tag Ozaka, hey, they might, they might notice. You never know. They might come to me, hey, we said that you did something. Another great uh, podcast, uh, resource. What is this? What is this? Let me see. Let me see. Don't see if put a, a link here for our podcast. Let me check it out. 
Let me check it out. Did you check uh, WP Elevation, Tosif? WP Elevation, uh, Troy Dean. That dude is awesome. Have you checked his podcast? Don't forget the coupon code. Yes, I'm trying to... The product, the coupon code. Phone number? Hell no. Let's see. Man, if you had your affiliate link, man, you could have got something. They also take... Uh, they also take uh, Bitcoin. Uh, add a lifetime to all... Uh, oh yeah, of course. I will definitely add that. What is the? Um, can we click here into the coupon code? There you go, coupon code. Apply the coupon. Apply the coupon. Okay. So I got the lifetime updates and the starter pack, and I shall proceed. I'm going to check the podcast, uh, Tosif. Give me a second. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. The Thrive Suite alone is what... Oh, I love Thrive, dude. I love Thrive Theme. I love Thrive Theme because you can make a lot of cool landing pages with the Thrive Theme. Okay, there you go. I got it. Digital Bangkok. Ah, there, that's where they are from. Ah, all right, let's see. It's always good to take some risk. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, I was wondering, like, why this is like something. Okay. All right. Got me this. What we got here? A resor resourceful designer. Welcome to resourceful designer. Oh, that's nice. Let me go ahead and share with you guys. This is what Tausif uh, shared this podcast. Let me check it out. There you go. Resourceful Designer. Uh, Resourceful Designer podcast is absolutely free. Subscribe. Welcome to Resourceful Designer. Design, a graphic design podcast in blog. Mark. Uh, Discord. This, okay, tell me each week. A graphic design part. This is very cool for the, for those who are into graphic design. This is a great resource. Thank you, Tosi, for sharing this. You know, free education, knowledge from the experts. So check it out. Resourceful designer for those who are into design, graphic design, website design, logo design, right? So thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now, for WordPress, there's another awesome, one of my favorite podcasts on WordPress is uh, WP Elevation. Right? See, even his name pops up. So WP Elevation, Troy Dean. He is the uh, the owner. He also teaches uh, freelancers, WordPress developer freelancers and agencies how to run their agency. So listen to this podcast because he interviews all these experts within the WordPress community. Like the Thrive, I listened to one of the, the fun of the Thrive theme podcast with him. So that's an awesome podcast. So you check it out. Uh, WP Elevation. Okay. Uh, so yeah, listen to his podcast. You are going to learn a lot from this dude. He brings a lot of awesome experts. Even Chris Lima was there too. So, so check it out. Uh, WP Elevation. I think yeah, Chris Lima was um, had a post there. Double check. But I know Thrive Theme was one of the uh, podcasts that I remember, and he interviews a lot of you know expert in the fields. 
companies that works with WordPress and whatnot, and plus other businesses. So check it out. Check out the free training as well. Okay. So that's uh, WP Elevation. Okay. All right, everybody. It is uh, 6.57 p.m. Central Time. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Resourceful Designers offers a graphic design podcast aimed at helping home-based graphic designers and web designers streamline their business. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Thank you, Topsy, for sharing that. Uh, All right, anybody, anybody, anybody else has a question? We got two minutes. We got two minutes. Excuse me. Okay, all right. All right, folks, any more questions? Just I'm gonna hide the the brand. Yeah, there you go. Any more questions on uh I'll have any questions? I got one minute left. And if somebody asks, I'm gonna continue, but I got one minute left. Okay, don't forget, folks, uh, for those that's, uh, that's watching this as a replay, just type replay on the comment section so I would know. And keep sending me those questions. I will be back tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Time. I do appreciate that you all been here today. Thank you, thank you. And I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Let me just wait for one more minute to see if anybody asks. So, Angel and Tosif, thank you for sharing those links. And same, same thanks to Rick as well for sharing the links about the uh, the business grants from Facebook. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you so much. And I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>